Hi and welcome to this tutorial on how to draw and shade fruits with soft or chalk pastel. In this video, I will draw from this photo. Feel free to only focus on one fruit if easier. When we look at the photo in black and white, you can see the different tones more easily. We will attempt to recreate these different tones using various different neighboring colors. We'll build up our drawing by continually layering darker colors on top of lighter colors. You should notice that pastels are rather thick. Therefore, it's easier to draw larger as it's difficult to get small details with this larger drawing tool. I'm going to draw using a full A4 size paper. As you watch the video, feel free to pause and try out the steps yourself. The first thing we need to do is lightly draw out the basic shapes. We can use yellow as it's a light color and can be easily covered with darker colors. I press lightly using the corner of the pastel and make any necessary corrections as I go along. Next I start blocking in the lighter tones. Note the direction of my lines at times go in the direction or contour of the object. This helps give it form. Whilst drawing, observe what you are drawing at least 50% of the time. Draw what you see, not what you think you see. Keep your eyes darting up at your object and down to your paper, continually. I'll then rub the pastel to smoothen it out and blend it in. I'll try and do this also going in the contour of the form. This can get a bit dusty, so feel free to blow away any dust off your paper. Once you start blending, your fingers will naturally get dirty. Try to be aware of this, as students often leave a mess of fingerprints around their drawing. We next move to the slightly darker tone and blend again with our finger. Feel free to go back and re-darken areas as you do this. As I begin layering darker colors on top, start off by applying light pressure to the pastel as it's easier to add more later rather than try to cover up mistakes afterwards. My application of green may appear strong. Once I blend with my finger though, it will lighten. As I draw, I move up gradually to the darker colors, focusing on these darker tones. I want to remember not to cover the entire area, as I'll then cover the tonal range that I created previously. At each of these stages, I continue to blend with my finger. As the colors darken, I will most likely apply less and less pastel. Just as a side note, I should mention that it is also possible to use soft pastel with visible marks as opposed to blending them in. I'll do the same process for the apricot as I did with the pear and simply speed up the process. Again, I start with the lightest color and build it up gradually to the darks. At the end, I'll use some white to show the reflective highlights. Good luck with your drawing and remember, practice makes perfect. Mr. CTV. Mr. CTV. Mr. CTV.